Hi everybody, this is Matt, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up your profile for the Find a Spiritual Companion Guide. Uh, one of the coolest features about our website is the ability to uh, present yourself as a spiritual companion uh, for people who come to our site and are looking for one. So you want to make sure that as a member you're getting the most out of that profile, and I'm going to show you how. So I'm on our homepage, it's sdicompanions.org, and where you want to go to edit your profile is to your member account. So just go over to members here at the top right, and the first option here is my accounts. Go ahead and log in, and you get the my account uh, profile here. So over here on the left, uh, there's a bunch of options. And the two we want to pay attention to for your specific profile in the guide are the SDI contact info and the FASC, which is the acronym for Find a Spiritual Companion Profile. So most of the info that you need to edit for your profile is going to be in this option. Um, but I wanted to show you a few really important fields that you need to edit, and that's in your contact info. So I'm going to click that first. So all of this information is used by the SDI office to send you mailings and membership information, uh, ship products and stuff like that. But there are a few categories that the Find a Spiritual Companion Guide uses, and they're based on geography. Uh, so those are the country field, uh, address one and two, city and state. Now you don't have to fill these out, but if you want people to find you based on location, then you need to. Uh, so chances are pretty good that you have already done so, but if you're having problems finding yourself uh, by doing a search, then you want to come look here first. So country, you would put the country you're located in here. Address 1 and 2 uh, work a little bit differently. So they're used by our proximity search tool. Uh, which is a feature that allows people who are searching uh, to search for within a certain radius of their location. So 10 miles within my location or 25 miles. Now your address here is never going to appear in the search. It doesn't appear publicly anywhere. However, the proximity search tool does use the address in order to say, okay, well, this person is within 10 miles or this profile is within 10 miles. So it's important that you have the address one field uh, specific to your location. And so you could put your uh, spiritual direction office or your uh, place of worship or your home or wherever it is that you meet with people on a regular basis. Uh, and then city and state, same thing. You just want to make sure that you have something there, which you probably already do. Uh, the Find a Spiritual Companion search tool uses them, and I will show you how. Um, the main thing is you want to go down and click the Update button at the bottom to make any changes appear in the guide. If you don't click Update, then those changes will not appear, uh, so make sure that you do that. Okay, I'm going to scroll back up to the Find a Spiritual Companion Profile option in the left-hand column. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now, all this information is what is going to appear on your profile. Um, there are two that are mandatory. So these are the only two fields that you need to have selected something for your profile to show up. All of the other fields are essentially optional. But if you have display records set to no, then your profile will never show up in the Find a Spiritual Companion Guide. So you just want to make sure that that's set to yes. It is by default, but we have a lot of members who are not practicing spiritual companions and don't necessarily want to be found. So we have that option for them. So that's the first mandatory field. The second one is display name. You have to have some text in here for your profile to appear. Most people just have their first name, last name, and that works fine. Uh, you could have an abbreviated name or the name of your retreat center or formation training program uh, or whatever. Um, you know, my full name is Matthew Whitney, but maybe I want my display name to be Matt. 
with me. It just depends on what you go by for your for your practice and what it is that you are offering through your profile. Uh, since this is my test account that I use for the website, it just says tester Matt. Uh, these are the two fields that must be filled out for your profile to show up. Uh, let's go through some of the other ones. They're all optional, but you probably are going to want to fill them out for the sake of your profile. Um, member category, I just have spiritual companion checked. Now this is where all of the fields that you filled out in your contact info uh, profile are going to appear. So these are all grayed out. That means that you cannot edit them. They get edited in this SDI contact info uh, profile. So the proximity, country, city, state, those are all pulling from, again, that SDI contact info field. So if you want to change them, that is where you would go to do them. Moving on, uh, this is all info that will show if you have it in here. It's not, um, this is all information that will appear but is not mandatory. But you probably want to have at least an email address so that people who find your profile uh, can send you an email saying that they're interested in meeting with you. Um, a lot of people have their phone number too, their professional phone number, or however it is that you want to be contacted by people who find you in the guide. And then the profile is a place where you can share a little bit about yourself in your spiritual companioning practice. The profile photo is a nice feature. It allows you to share a, an image of yourself. So I recommend a headshot or a photo of your head and your face. So you would just click that choose file and then go and locate the photo that on your computer. And you'll see that the you don't see the photo yet. You just see the name of the file name for your photo. That'll get uploaded in a minute. Um, any of these other fields for expertise or spiritual tradition uh, or orientation, these are all optional, but if you have uh, certain expertises or um, areas of focus in your practice, you'll want to check those boxes uh, that make sense for you, any languages that you speak, the types of consultation that you do, whether you're just in person or can do them over Zoom or telephone, and then a website, which would just be uh, if you have a personal website or a website for your practice. The last thing you have to do is click this purple update button. So if you don't click this update button, then none of your changes will get saved. So I'm going to go ahead and click that now. And you'll get taken back to the main profile page, but you can be assured that your changes were made. I can verify that by going back to my find a spiritual companion profile. Um, for, so I uploaded a photo and you can see there is uh, and so all of that should automatically appear on the Find a Spiritual Companion guide through search. So if something on here is not working or you still can't find your profile, go ahead and contact our office uh, and we will do our best to help you. But hopefully this kind of spells out how it all works and you should be able to find your profile just fine and so should many other people who are looking for a spiritual companion.